Hey, this is Toby down at Paran Market. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make one of my favorite dishes of all time, coming from when I used to work in kitchens in Italy. I'm gonna show you how to make polenta. We're gonna set it, we're gonna grill it, we're gonna serve it with really thin slices of prosciutto and gorgonzola cheese. Bring 1.25 liters or thereabouts of water up to the boil in a heavy base pot. Add a really good pinch of salt and pour the polenta in while whisking. Keep whisking this for the first two to three minutes at which time it'll probably be too thick for the whisk and you can do away and switch out for a wooden spoon. Once the polenta starts to really thicken up like this, reduce it down to the lowest flame you have, swap the whisk out for a wooden spoon. And stir from time to time for 15 to 20 minutes or until the polenta is no longer grainy. After 20 to 25 minutes, you'll see the polenta's absorbed all the moisture and it's pulling away from the side of the pot. Heat can go off. Pop the butter and a good amount of freshly grated parmesan cheese directly into the polenta. And stir through really well, making sure all of that butter is melted into the polenta and the cheese has been absorbed in also. It's really important this polenta is well cooked. If it's too oozy, it won't set hard enough to be able to grill it after. Once all the butter's been absorbed, we can turn it out into a container and pop it into the fridge for at least two to three hours until it's totally cooled and set. I've popped the polenta into this non-reactive plastic container. I'll allow that to cool to room temperature, then into the fridge for at least two to three hours. Here we have a polenta that I've just turned out of the mold. So this has been sitting in the fridge for two to three hours. Now we can take some slices out of it. And as you can see, it's super thick. I'm gonna use this diamond wedge for grilling here, but these bits actually fry up beautifully and will keep in the fridge for two to three days. Put a small amount of olive oil over the surface area of the set polenta and pop it straight onto a very hot preheated grill or barbecue. After five or so minutes, very carefully flip the polenta over and let it continue to cook. Don't move it around and just let it do its thing for another five minutes and you should have this beautiful crispy crust on the outside now. Once the polenta is crispy and crunchy and amazing, put it directly onto a plate and this is where stuff gets real. We'll take a nice big, oh my god, dollar for that gorgonzola. And then we'll just drape some of this prosciutto directly over the polenta. And I'll finish this with a little bit of pepper. With a tiny drizzle of olive oil. And job done.